Right, it's coming off now. I'm not going really... to... Oh, that's a bit cheeky. Why not? I mean, the things worth doing. We're doing right. Right, here we are then. It's the final day with the Batoni. Obviously, it's got a uh, set of skis in it because that's what you do in July with your Batoni convertible. You rock around on the motorway and you buy some skis. And um, the touring car's arrived. So uh, the best thing about the touring car, and I'm not showing you yet, I'm not showing the touring car. I'm going to reveal the touring car in due course. But look, the number plate says Yaks. And that's really funny because I bought one in this colour a couple of years ago, about 18 months ago, the third car for the channel. And that was that one said wax. So I've had yaks and wax. So I'm collecting Volvo 850s. Right, it's coming off now. I'm not really gonna... oh, That's a bit cheeky. There's an exhaust under there somewhere. Touring car in the making. I'm Jeff Post Cars, this is my Volvo 850 touring car. Well, um, it's not a touring car at the moment, but it will be a touring car in a couple of weeks if you'd like to follow my progress. I'm gonna give you a walk around the car and tell you what my plans are. All right, you'll have to excuse the noises because this is essentially a family wagon. So I am at the park with my five-year-old, but I am planning on turning this car into a touring car so you can follow the build on my YouTube channel. This is my Volvo 850. It's not a T5 for all you guys that are saying, yeah, he's bought a T5. It's not a T5. It's not even a 20 valve. It's just a basic two and a half litre, 10 valve manual, five speed manual. Now, why have I bought this? Well, mostly because you don't have to pay the uh, T5 tax when you buy the cheapest running and MOT Volvo 850 estate in the country, which is what I believe this is. I was needing to transport my Vauxhall Astra Batoni from here in Worcestershire to York. And a chap got in touch and said he could do it for me. And then I noticed on his Facebook page that he was a bit of a Volvo guy and he was selling this. Um, he's had this a little while and was done with it. And he only wanted 650 pounds for it. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I basically paid 650 pounds for this car, delivered to my door, and the Astra Batoni got taken to York as a bonus. So I would say that was 200 pounds worth of transport and 450 pounds worth of car. So there we go, the 450 pound Volvo 850. Now, you gotta bear in mind that if this was a T5, I would have paid significantly more than that. The T5 tax at the moment is ridiculous. I have a friend who recently sold a T5 in gold yellow, the R model, for £20,000 and that was delivered to a Miami. So these cars are getting ridiculously popular. Now, the 850 is most famous for its role in British touring cars. And people think that the, the, the Volvo 850 was championed for a long while in British touring cars. It actually only lasted for um, pretty much one season, 1994, 1995. I'll do a full video on the story of Volvo and you know how they ended up going racing with an estate car. That's coming up soon. Really, I just wanted to show you the car. Now, when I posted my options up in the Jeff Buys Cars Insider Group, many of you are like, oh, you haven't bought a T5. That's gonna be rubbish. That's gonna make a rubbish replica. No, you're missing the point. The whole idea behind a replica is that they are all show and no go. I don't need it to be stripped out. I don't need it to go on a track. I don't need it to have one seat and a harness and a roll cage. I just need it to be painted white and have some stickers on it. That's the point. This car is gonna get all the attention everywhere it goes. I'm not about going fast. It's only gonna get you in trouble. What's the point in that? So this is gonna be a fairly accurate BTCC tribute and it's going to be all in and done to me at, I won't tell you how much but not a great deal and um, it's going to steal the show everywhere it goes no it's not a T5 and I don't care it's mine and I will be using it to take the kids to school and go on holiday all that sort of stuff so 
let's have a little look at it. I know there's some rust on the front wings. Nee, nee, nee. That's all anybody wants to talk about. I don't care that there's rust on the front wings. I paid 450 quid for it. That's what body shops are for. So the main thing about this car is it's already running on big wheels and it's already running on coilovers. Those are the expensive bits. If you want to make a T5 touring car replica, the expensive bits is in getting the wheels and the stance right. It's already done. All I've got to do is paint it and put some stickers on. So that's my plan. Right, inside of my 450 pound Volvo, we have a micro scooter, my wallet, some iced tea, a couple of documents. I have found some service history, but not a great deal, but I don't care. It was 450 quid and it works and it's got an MOT. It's got heated seats. In the back, we have the seats down, some retro skis, what I bought for my Citroen giveaway. And of course, like every Volvo 850 I've ever bought, because I did buy one like this, almost identical, at the start of the whole thing, Ugh, and the boot supports don't work. If you open the boot, it suddenly becomes apparent what the stick's for. Oh no, it's just got automatic close. Now, there's also no exhaust pipe on this car. It is extremely loud. However, you'll see that I've scrounged some parts to go on potentially this car. Uh, does a Mercedes-Benz 500SL exhaust pipe fit on a Volvo 850? Well, I'll tune in to the next video to find out. So, what we have here is a running and driving MOT 850 that looks the part. Uh, oh yeah, and the roof is already wrapped white. I didn't do that, but um, I basically wanted to build an 850 touring car since um, about 1995, and now is my chance. So, this is being financed pretty much completely by the money that comes in for the Citroen XM giveaway. So go and buy your entries to um, get involved in the Citroen XM giveaway because you're financing a BTCC tribute. And um, I'll probably offer this out to people to uh, have a little go in it. You know, maybe there'll be like charity raffles and you can have it for a weekend. And then people were like, oh, but what's the point in that? You can't take it on a track. Why would you want to take a Volvo 850 Estate on a track? Even the Volvo drivers didn't want to take a Volvo 850 Estate on the track. The point is, it's for posing, isn't it? Rocking around in your BTCC car and everyone will take pictures and everyone will smile and wave and everyone will bloody love it. So... My extremely slow race car is on the way. Do you want to see under the bonnet? Yeah, why not? I haven't looked under the bonnet yet. Jeff's guide to buying cars. Always look under the bonnet at the point when you do your first video. Right, let's see if it's got an engine. I don't even care if it doesn't have an engine. Oh, that's a good sign, isn't it? Got cable ties there. Where's the what's it on the Volvo? Oh, this is a professional video, isn't it? I can't even find the bloody thing on a hang on i'll do another video when i found out to open the bonnet sorted so uh that cable tie apparently is the most important part because that connects to this bit all right sorted job done but you don't buy a 450 pound volvo and expect it to be perfect and uh, to be honest i don't actually expect it to have an exhaust pipe on it uh which this one doesn't so the cat's been removed obviously someone's nicked that and you know got scrap money for it which is why i got the car so cheap Whatever, man. I don't even care that there's a hole in the wing. This is going to look so good when it's done. All right, so have faith. Watch me get this done and uh, happy days. Cool number plate, innit? Yaks. Bought some Swedish yaks. You've got to admit, it looks the part. So, there we go. Video number one of my Volvo project. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I should do. Oh, let me show you my skis as well. Look, I bought an SLC. Well, an SLC pair of skis. Used once since 1989. I bought those to put on the top of my uh, Citroen XM, but I might keep them. You know, I've never been skiing in my life, but you never know. It doesn't have a sunroof. I'd like it to have a sunroof. To be honest, I really like it to have a full length rag top. So if you're the sort of person that knows how to put a full length rag top in a Volvo estate, then uh, get in touch, let's talk. If you're the sort of person that wants your logo on a Volvo British touring car estate, then uh, get in touch, because there's a plan coming together. But I'm not messing around here. This isn't gonna be one of them projects that's gonna take like months and months and months. I'm thinking literally two to three weeks. I want this at shows in August. So uh, thanks for watching. This is my Volvo, as I've said a thousand times. Cheers, see you in a bit.
Jeff buys cars. YouTube's most boring car channel.